You're doing great. Awesome. Well, it's good to see you around these parts, man. I miss your face. I hope everything's been going well for you. That you've been staying out of trouble. We're currently just doing a little bit of Minecraft ASMR. We're cutting down a mountain. Or at least the last chunk of it. We took out three quarters of it. We're kind of in the home stretch right now. Trouble finds you, you don't find it? Okay. That usually sounds like, that's, that's usually what someone who gets in trouble a lot says. You dream of stones, do you? That makes one of us. I dream of genie. That was a cool show from back in the day. Thunking time, that's what we were doing. We've been, we've been dunking all day. Is Sandy my dog? She is. Exclamation point Sandy. You can see some pictures of her if you want. She's currently waiting in the wings for me to take her O-U-T. I should come up with a really elaborate lie one day. Can Sandy spell? No, not yet. I should go. Someone asked me who Sandy is. I should be like, she's my paraplegic wife. For just 5,000 points, we can wheel her in here on her chair. We can give her a treat. She likes to eat, you know, corkscrews and stuff. It's great. Give Sandy a treat. Yeah. She eats like paint chips and, you know. Drywall screws, things like that. Whatever we have laying around the house. Yeah, Hannah, she's a cutie. She's not bad. Can't spill food without your parents' dogs freaking out. She doesn't know. Well, she does. She there's there's different varying states of food. There's puppy food. And then there's daddy food. So, so food by itself doesn't trigger her. So food means nothing. Nope. Now, she does have a bad habit of whale out eyeing you, though, if she's interested in something that you're snacking on. But that's because of my roommates and my mother. They used to always give her stuff. And I wasn't a fan of that. But she'll get the occasional pizza crust, or if I order like Japanese food and I get a whole bowl of rice, she usually gets the rice. Nothing too crazy. And then usually for her birthday, I will, uh, I'll broil her a steak. I'll sear it on two sides, on both sides for like two minutes a piece and broil it for like five minutes and then give it to her, chop it up. So she gets a nice little like ribeye for her birthday. Especially now she sees in double digits. It's, it's well deserved. I don't know, Air. What state am I in? A state of confusion. I'm in I'm in North Carolina, East Coast. You're in Arizona? Yes, you are. Where you don't have daylight savings time. Which I'm kind of jealous about, but it's also hard to tell what time it is where you are sometimes. Because, you know... Time changes. Hannah, you're close to, uh, well, you're closer to, um, Hades than I am.
Because you can come in here one day, Air Bear, and I'll know exactly what time it is. Three months from now, I'll be like, uh, <laughs> what time is it where you are? <laughs> can I get a refresher? Hey, J Wall, there you go, man. There you go. You, you got more of you here. You guys are multiplying. So, yeah, what level are we at right now? 90. Ah, that sucks. I was hoping it'd be a little lower than that. We got about 22 layers to go. Which isn't too bad. It's taken us about two to three minutes a layer. This is what, another hour? Eh, I want to do this for another hour. It shouldn't take very long. I don't think it's two to three minutes. I guess with stopping in between and stuff like that. Do they have good sushi in North Carolina? Not really. Uh, if you go closer to the coast, maybe, but not in the inland. I live in the middle of the state. I mean, it's okay sushi, but it's not like... I wouldn't say a 10 out of 10. When I lived on the east coast of Florida, that was really good sushi. What is the good? What is good food to get in North Carolina? Just comfort food. They have their own way of doing barbecue. So if you're interested in that, get some barbecue. But I mean, just like, just Southern comfort food. Potato salad. Uh, what is it? Um, banana pudding. Baked beans of all different varieties. Mean cornbread? Uh, we're not really known for cornbread. But I'm sure there's some people that have a pretty good recipe for it. I haven't had, like, a really good cornbread down here. But I'm sure someone's got one somewhere. As far as, like, fast food restaurants, we've got Bojangles and Cookout. Cookout's really good. I would, I would say Cookout is the equivalent like as far as like you should try it as um what's the burger place out in california and vegas and stuff that everybody keeps talking about in and out yeah it's 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 equivalent to hype is in and out but i would argue it's better food because you you literally get food that you would get at a cookout it there, there's no sit-in dining. It's drive through only. And they got two sides. You can be passenger or driver's side drive through And they make, like, burgers and fries and, like, hush puppies. And pick's getting low? Yeah, we're good. I got plenty. Thanks for the heads up, though. Yeah, no, In-N-Out. In-N-Out's not that great. They, they only have, like, one or two styles of things. Cookout's pretty crazy. There's a cookout near you. I mean, if you want to give it a go, go try it out. They're they're better in North Carolina though. I'm just saying. So if you taste it there, it's just just know it's better over here. If you're like, man, this is the best burger I've had, they're better over here. You know what regional fast food I regret trying? White Castle. Yeah, White Castle. I've had White Castle before. It's it's. It's a thing. It's it's more of a gimmick than anything else. They know their food isn't good. It's crap. You can actually buy it in the grocery store in the frozen food aisle, and it's the same stuff. <laughs> it's literally the same sliders. Little little shitty pieces of meat. Barely any condiments. You know. What you would expect from a White Castle.
best burger is the one you make? What's up, Pythos? Well, I mean, like, that, that's why I think cookout's really good, because it's like burgers that you would make. All right, we'll sort this out now. Everybody's got anxiety. Your pack! Okay, these are all full. So we'll do that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, and that's another thing Cookout's known for. They have hand-spun milkshakes, and they usually have like 40 flavors. And they have a couple seasonal ones. They got eggnog out right now, or they will. They probably have a pumpkin one out currently. But they do eggnog, and they'll do um, watermelon for the summertime. You must go to Cookout. It's really good. It's really good. And it's, and it's inexpensive. You can get like a burger, two sides, and a shake for like eight bucks. And if you don't get a shake, you get a drink, it's like six dollars. The prices are really, really good. That's insanely cheap. It's inexpensive. Efficient. Frugal. Uh, air. Not really. Not really. The beaches at, on the coast are more tourist traps than the islands are. Um, the one island where the Wright brothers flew over in Kitty Hawk, that's going to be a big tourist trap. But um, the barrier islands have a lot of history. Like uh, Blackbeard, Edward Teach, he actually crashed his ship there. Because the water in between the barrier islands and the mainland is super duper shallow. And a lot of boats got trapped in there. And they crashed and they would sink. And there's a lot of people who like scuba dive and look for treasure and stuff down there. Is there any more Poof Raider Raid viewers anymore? I don't know. Does it matter? I don't pay attention to my view counts. I don't know who's here and who's not here. But I'm sure a lot of people like Poof's channel because they can... A lot of people in his chat want Poof to do something. And a lot of them just like to type stupid words that, that they think they're funny because they're under the age of 15 years old. Which is like most of the YouTube crowd. <laughs> which is where Poof has the majority of his audience. Which, you know. Hi, Camaro Shell. Welcome in. You think you're the last one? No, you're not the last one. You're, you're just one typing in chat. There's other people that are here lurking. I'm pretty sure. I just don't want to call them out. Hi, Slowcoast. Welcome in. If you have any questions about what we do here, feel free to ask. Every, every 25 minutes is a pagan sacrifice of at least one lamb. Uh, every 45 minutes we have tea time with our um, urn that houses our uh, dead grandfather. And then every two hours we do a giveaway of uh, a hair that I pluck out of my beard. So be sure to tune in for all of that. Then we usually do story time for two and a half hours where we talk about, uh, we read just, you know, it's the same story every time. It's James and the Giant Peach. We just, we just read that over and over again. Uh, we try to find a deeper meaning every time. We, we almost found one the last time. There was some pretty good uh, philosophical discussion, but then it turned existential and we had to move on. Um, but, you know, things like that is what you can look forward to. 
You love to hate that game. The Camaro shell, uh, same. <laughs> same Camaro shell. I'm glad, I'm glad you're getting into the RimWorld spirit. James the Giant Peach is an allegory for his, for his for this hardcore Minecraft run. It could be. We gotta watch it later. You, you gotta hold off any any ideas until after we watch it again, though. No discussion. Only during movie time. Forty lashings for you, Slokas. Don't let that happen again. Hi, J Wall. You're not into RimWorld. I know. Are, are you are full on of something brown and stinky? Uh, yeah, maybe. I haven't used the bathroom in about 12 hours. That would be a good guess. I mean, I've peed, but yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my friend. Well, J Wall, I mean, sure. You can say that about a lot of games. You can twist it into words that sound bad if you want, but that's the reason why you don't like it. That's a very shallow point of view. But hey, to each the room. Pythos, um, hmm. I struggle with, with motivation as well. Is it, are you currently working on something that you don't enjoy? Is there a part of 3D modeling that you enjoy that you just haven't done in a while? Or do you enjoy all of it, you're just having a hard time coming up with something? Just can't texture or UV mat to save your life? Try something easy. Try try to do a pumpkin for Halloween. That's pretty straightforward. Get used to the to the menuing and stuff part of it. Then you can get used to the actual source files and everything later. You can move on to like a bat. Bats have like hairs and stuff. It gets more more in depth. There's more layers to it. There's a, there's a person in our community who does 3D modeling. They're not here right now. But if they were here, I would I would have them to... So you can pick their brain if you wanted to. Bye, E. Have a good night, dude. You're a mechanic by trade. Cool. Why, B? That is your message. It's very highlighted. Camaro Shell, what is your what is your favorite thing and your worst thing about RimWorld? I'm interested. Oh, let's see. Boom boom. Let me do that. Oops. I did the wrong thing. All right, that's not bad. Okay, next layer. We are at 80. Okay. We're making pretty good progress. We're almost there, I can see it. We just gotta knock it down there. You like the differences in how the people respond? Uh, I was concerned it was going to be like lemmings. Oh, I got you. If anyone had a suggestion for public vanilla servers? I haven't played much since Xbox 360, and I wanted to ease into it with the vanilla server. I mean, are you, are you is your goal wanting to play multiplayer, or do you just want to get into the game? If you want to get into the game, just play a single-player version of the game. Uh, as far as public, though... I'm pretty sure if you just click join game, it shows you a ton of servers. Just pick one that has a population that you'd be comfortable with. If there's a lot of people in it, maybe you won't be a fan of it. It might be laggy. 
If there's a few people, maybe you can get in there and someone will say hi to you and you can ask them some questions and whatnot. But also be careful with public servers because you're going to get some riffraff in there too. It just gets to be too much. Camaro, it is very... That's that's the key of the game. It's very... It's a, it's a lot of micromanaging. Once you figure out some of the micromanagement parts of it, it gets a little easier, but it doesn't get any easier overall. Free for all, I'm in. You want a server to play with friends, but none of us uh, to pay for a server. Oh. I gotcha. I mean, any any public server will work as long as it's functional. Just just know it's going to be picked rather dry, and you're going to be kind of just dealing with half of a game in front of you. You think Wish should be back soon? 15 minutes. Wish is on an hour cooldown. Free for all is on a 15 minutes. So for every if you if you did it on time every time every four free for alls is a wish. Ooh, I almost dropped down the hole. That would have killed me. It would have killed me. How you doing, Josh? It's going pretty well, dude. Welcome in. We're currently cutting down a mountain. We got about uh, 12 layers to go. This was the last little chunk that we were saving for later. But then uh, Poof so graciously brought some folks by. So we're going to extend the stream by a little bit. Knock it out. Clean up our boxes. Get our tools uh, back to tip-top shape. And then... We'll be hitting this tomorrow morning, working on a whole bunch of other stuff. We need to fill in a bunch of water tomorrow. That's going to be fun. We're going to use all of our shit blocks. I don't want, we're using it to fill it in like the sandstone. Sandstone's number one in filling in water because I don't like it. Then we'll use like andesite and diorite and things like that and just get it all filled in. We're keeping the stone because I need a stone for the castle walls. Um, and then sand. I mean, I mean, we can use all, use sand also, but I think we used all of our sand already. <coughs> so we have very little bit to go off of. Oh, yeah, probably. But even when I'm talking, it helps the time go by, too. Yeah, no doubt. It's, it's going by pretty quick. I said two to three minutes. It's probably like a minute per area. I was just taking into account, you know, switching boxes and flying and stopping to maybe show somebody something or flying into the air or sleeping. You know, things that weird people do. Inventory management takes a little bit of time when you get more and more full. If I didn't care about these blocks, I, I would have already probably been done by now. But I want to try and keep as much as I can because we're going to be building a lot. We may have an access left over, but I want to make sure that we're covered. All right, so that one's completely full. So now we got full, full, and full. We'll drop this off. We'll drop these three off. One, two, three. Drop this pick off. Swap it there. Grab one, two, three. And then we are back. Bye, Hades. Have a good night. I'll see you soon. Have good sleeps. Get all your homework done.
stone. This should be running out here soon. Yeah, it's starting to go away. This was like a, a leading edge that was sticking out. But I think what we'll do after this is make a wither skeleton farm and get some more beacons because we're going to be flattening out the entire inside. I want to make sure that we're covered on, on every tang. Oh, hey, what is this? 74. Oh, I didn't, I didn't shear it all the way down. Oh, look at me. I'm smart. I thought I sheared it all the way down to like 63. Look at that, I left us some wiggle room. Man, sometimes I amaze even myself. Look at me being smart. I don't like dirt, get out of here dirt. Be gone. This is currently 72, okay. So not quite where we need to be, but close enough. Uh, we've got that, I'm bringing this back. Any stack that's 64, I'm tossing in. Anything that's not 64, we're waiting for it to stack up. Oh, that's really cool. I'm so glad that I that I thought ahead on that. I thought I had ruined it. We had to repack it. I didn't know we were, we were going to be this close. That's awesome. I don't know why I filled that in. I filled that in. We're going to be cutting it out. So maybe what we need to do from here is figure out where five is and then get it all figured out. Because I don't think I want to cut all this away and leave ourselves too naked here. Let's see. Let's do some let's do some quick maths. Well no, because it's all it's all gonna come down anyways. Never mind. Just go. Maybe I'll leave that back alone. Let's let's feed off of this. You ouch. Let's do this. I don't want to go exactly there. Uh, Jaff. Um, hmm. Jaff, you should uh, incrementally break and then restretch out each of your legs over and over again over the course of months and years in order to make yourself taller. It's proven, and um, it'll help you with uh, your self-esteem because you keep making fun of yourself because you're short. So there you go. Easy. Seems like a great idea. <laughs> it is a thing. It is, it is it? Ah, don't do that. Don't do it, I take it all back. You like being short though? Well, there you go. Kick ass. Uh, 